it's gonna storm on Hilton Head Island, but we about to get a little skateboard, a little, a little shoe test at the Bristol Sports Arena. Aye. Welcome back. We're doing an unboxing. Very excited about these shoes. The last shoes that I got were these S XL OGs, and I've had them for about a month. Somebody asked for me to do an update. Uh, they're pretty torn up where I kick flip and ollie, but other than that, the shoe's pretty indestructible. Uh, light wearing on the bottom. But yeah, just your general wear and tear. It's such a beefy shoe, man. We got the box. Box. Fresh out of the box. All suede. I already love them. They look just like they did back when I used to skate them. So really thick tongue. You know, comparing it to the SXL, it's not quite as thick. So I was really enjoying skating these, but they were literally so freaking big that it almost got in the way for flip tricks like Nolly heels and fakie flips and stuff like that. It felt a little clunky. So this has a little slimmer profile. Classic DC tread. Yeah, these look pretty indestructible. It looks like there's actual suede here where your foot would be mostly connecting with the board. Uh, and then this isn't suede here, but as long as the suede, the suede parts are here where you ollie and here where you kick flip, you know, toe areas for tray flips and stuff like that. So we'll get these laced up, try them on and see if they're true to size. These shoes fit really good. They're a lot slimmer than the SXL OGs. Um, a little loose. The laces were a little bit short. I would have wanted to tie them all the way up here, but I wouldn't have just had enough lace to tie. And I don't know why, but I like when my laces are flopping around. So. Oh, it's so hot. South Carolina, baby. We got a storm coming in, but just got sunny. Nolly heels, switch heels feel so good. Uh, I don't know if it's just because I'm I got that like DC mentality right now with the steezy tricks, but I want to try to get a really good burial flip. I don't do them a lot. It's a not so popular trick that I feel like is making a comeback, but would honor these shoes properly. So let's try it out. The DC Lynx. I just did a whole review with the lens cap on. The DC Lynx Zero. Awesome, awesome skate shoe. I really, really like this shoe. You know, I like the padding, like the shoes were made back in the day with lots of padding, but it's not too much around the toe. The toe is nice and narrow, so I can really control flip tricks, especially flip tricks like uh, backside flips and then trying that varial flip. It seems like when the shoe comes to more of a point like this, you get more of a pivot point from when you're rolling and flicking your flip tricks. Uh, by comparison, this is what I was skating last. It's a lot beefier of a shoe. It's actually insanely fat for today's standards, but this is the SXL OG. I already did a review on this. I'll leave that link right here. Um, and this is one month in. It's definitely still all put together, but a little shredded up. And the white suede just got so dirty. I'm really excited to have black shoes again. I really like this thick white bottom here against the black with the, the small DC logo. Um, I really like these shoes because 
and a lot of shoes were made like this back in the day but they've got these little lace protectors and I didn't have them laced up like that because I just threw them on when I popped them out the box but I just reset them here just to protect my laces now sometimes after skating this can tend to shred up and kind of roll down and eventually shred away and it will get to the laces but that's when your shoes are already completely toast so I would definitely 100% recommend the DC Lynx Zero. Uh, it's just a very similar version to the original DC Lynx. Um, they were $65. I bought them off the DC website. They've got nice quality suede where it matters. Uh, there's a synthetic material in between which I understand the use of that just to keep the cost down and keep this affordable. So as long as it's got the suede where it touches the board, I'm good with that. I'm hoping to get a couple months out of these shoes. Hopefully they look fresh on my feet for a while before they start to shred up. So, all right guys, thank you for watching. I hope this helps you out. If you've been thinking about trying DCs, but you have like a really slim shoe that you're set on, I, I would give it a try, especially you old heads. I'm in my 30s and the shoes like this really bring me back. It's not hard for me to get used to skating them. You can see almost it's got a little dip right there. It's almost got like a tennis shoe feel to it, but that was very popular back in the day. It reminds me kind of of the DBS Huffnagel 2s where it has that almost um, tennis shoe vibe. The Costin shoes look like straight up basketball shoes. So this is definitely not as bad. All right, guys, thank you for watching. We'll keep skating them and reviewing a month. Thanks.